Anna Francisca Paul with the serve. Set one then, away we go. And a solid start. Lippman's missed the court. If she's missed the block as well, it's China's point. No challenge. China, that's the key player for Germany today. Lippmann in the number 11 shirt. She and Paul both top scoring in game one. Been so impressed with Yandi this summer. Economy of movement, great reach on her spikes, but her direction, her accuracy of hitting has been superb in the front court. Solid enough. Nice transition play. Gong converts. Unlike a lot of other teams in the world, the opposite player is not the key player for China. Gong does a filling role. She'll pass on several rotations as well. It's all about Yu Ting, the captain, in terms of being the go-to player when China are out of system. Swing. So, Hanker, the German captain, trying to establish that middle early. Schlösel comes through to the front court, which means her middle blocking partner, Weitzel, goes back to the line. Weitzel will serve and play defence in position five, the only time the middle players do that. And Germany can score here. Good pick up. Brilliant work from Juting. Oh, but too good in the block. Lippmann next to Schlösel, the two tall players in the front row for Germany. Wonderful dig from Juting. But all to no avail. Germany on the scoreboard. And quite a sloppy start this from China in terms of their pass. Germany can score again here, lovely distribution from Hanke. Lippmann, that's what she's on the court to do. And unfortunately for Germany, two of those big hits have been way long. Decent start to this match, just a, a couple of hitting errors, really. Marring what has been some decent rallies. Gong Xiangyu with the serve. Looks like she's made that opposite position her own from Chung Lei. And Germany do what they've got to do today. Keep that scoreboard ticking over. EFTs with the kill. Wings back, who plays for Gianmarco Volley Conegliano. In the top division of the Italian Volleyball League. Lippmann serves. Good pressure serve on Wang Menji. And a great pick up from her as well. China though with control. It's a heavy hit. Oh, that's just special. Wonderful defense from Germany. But China get to go again. And again, wonderful touch in the block from Hanka. And that's exceptional volleyball from Germany. That really is top quality. Stunning blocking at the net to slow the ball down. Some terrific commitment in backcourt. First of all from Lippmann. And then a flying spike from Gertis to put it away. Brilliant from Germany. And that's what they've got to be all day long here if they're going to challenge China. Slide for Yuan Xinyue. Are seemingly a little reluctant to go to the middle player. Kept pushing the ball out to the left-handed uh, wing spiker, who hasn't had a lot of luck out there at the moment. So we'll keep an eye on that situation. Li Yingying has got to kill the ball more regularly than she has done so far. And it is Li back at the service line. Good swing. Good forceful attacking from Germany. Really taking this Chinese block on. High quality start to this match. Oh, 
Archie's quality. The only player in the last three decades to get close to matching the kind of hysteria that we saw around Lang Ping in her day. Lang Ping, the iron hammer. Chu uh, Ting, who credits all of her success to her coach, Lang Ping. Certainly up there in the same sort of stratosphere. Littman hammers it. Gung, nice pick up. <laughs> See me. Well, they can just play at a different level, China. Ding Jia fired up after a brilliant side tandem set. Look how quickly she shifts that ball to Zhu Ting. There's no way the German can block, block uh, can cover that. Virtually impossible to move and make decisions in that shorter space of time. Cheap point given up. to serve. Six all. Germany doing their bit in this game so far. Good. Fine hit, fine pick up and a, a miss hit at the net from China. Gives Germany another chance here and they won it. Yana Francisca Paul gets on the scoreboard and uh, I tell you, Felix Kozlowski will be delighted with this start from his team. This is world class from the team in red. Got to be to get close to China. Got it right this time, Gung. Hitting from the back line. Black Ping has clearly identified that as a weaker zone that she wants the Chinese attackers to go at. And really putting pressure on the left side blockers at the moment. Poland. Yatis, who for all of their attacking prowess haven't managed to block a ball yet. Very early doors in this match though. Littman, solid. Like Hanker's setting at the moment, the German captain looks very controlled. Look at that feed, really good hold before she actually touched the ball and that just pinned Yuan Sinue, the little blocker for China. First technical timeout arrives then. And China have a few things to think about here. quality of ball control on service reception just hasn't been there for China at the moment so they've had to battle for their seven points they also haven't managed to cause any issues for the German serve reception which has been really solid back, back to the line three good rotations to come now with Lippmann in front court for Germany Again, out of system pass. And Germany recycle. <laughs> it's brilliant. She is a very, very good player. You can see why Vakif Bank was so delighted to sign her. For the moment, Ju Ting is coming back to China. The whole team will be here for the next year to train for Tokyo. Playing in the Chinese Pro League. What an outlet, what a player to have on the left side of court. Chinese captain Ju Ting. Well, first bit of hustle that Germany have had to do for the side out, and they've done it well. Hanka really shifting to get across to that ball and then just bumping it up to Lippmann. Does the rest. That's what she's on court to do, Lippmann. She's on court as the finisher, the terminator.
tight. Good save by Lee. And a miss hit by Gung. And China have been rocked at the start of this match. No doubt about it. Germany doing a fantastic job down there. Pole to serve. Good serve. Germany's serving has been exquisite. Another great block touch to slow the ball down. Gertie's hit it hard, but hit it wide. Absolutely no holding back from either team at the moment. Yanni with the serve. Oh, these two very tall middle blockers for China, and that won't do anyone any favours. A real indication that China are, are struggling for rhythm here in this game. And there's a few worried looks on the faces of the crowd here in Nigbo. This is not what they're used to seeing. float long as well. You have to hit hard through the back of the ball to take all the spin off it and try and float it into play with a bit of movement, but occasionally you'll get it wrong and that'll just keep flying. Going with the serve. Good pass again from Germany. This is beautiful stuff from the team in red. Early on in this match, the Olympic champions being given a run for their money here. Hanka to Schlerzel. A fantastic pass from Gittis. Back to Lippmann then. Better pass from Lee. Lovely pipe offence from Juting. from the middle back part of the court. Teams have all sorts of names for different attacks, but that was an exceptional shot from Huting. Three serve errors in a row for China. Not so good. Starting to build up. Two middle blockers and then Lee. Just that one serve in the middle of that from Gong. Xu Ting just has to wait for the hit. And I think the problem is when you've got a hitter like Xu Ting operating at the net, you're, you're trying to cover so many bases as a defender. If she just gets enough pace on the ball away from you, it's really tricky to respond. And the block is rather out of the equation when she extends to her full height and reaches. She can go over the top of most blocks. Good pass. Oh, that's brilliant. That's just genius from Pagani. Laid it right out to make the dig, and it went right on Hanker's head feed out wide to Paul, who just uses a finesse shot off uh, the jar, reaching up, not reaching over. Classic blocking error. Break this one point deficit. Ding Jia to attack. Oh, that's more like it. That's what they needed. Just something at the net to happen or something in transition. But courtesy of Yan Ni, it's a kill block, monster block as well. Beautiful hand position. Just forcing that back down into court. Back again. Oh, that's insane from Germany. They can win the point now. 
and Lippmann make sure they do. That is one of the pickups of the season. Pagani with the shank pass, but this German team just refusing to give up on anything. So off the arms and away, and watch this, Lippmann with some serious wheels. That is a proper piece of work in the backcourt and then gets up from the advertising hoardings at the back to come and hammer it on the floor. Germany 15-14, and they're good for that lead. Great pass on the net. Good feed to Ju Ting. They've got hands on her. Germany again. Oh, too good, but great cover from Pagani. And Paul just keeps working the block. This is some of the best volleyball we've seen Germany play this summer. And they go into the second technical timeout with a 16-14 lead, and China still unable to break them down. Basics being passed on by Felix Kozlowski, but I like his temperament there. Would have been very easy to get too fired up at that point. And what he needs is for his team to feel that this is the norm. This is where they should be in the lead. Two points up on the Olympic champions. What a start to this match. China red hot favourites to win it 3-0, but we go into the business end of set one. China chasing the game, and the lines judge has given that in. China not happy, but they've got challenges if they want to ask the referee to have a look at this on Hawkeye, and they lose it because that's hit the line. Wonderful looping jump serve. It's not a lot of pace on it from the German captain, but it's dropping down onto the line. And again, better pass. Why did you Ting just takes a pause before she goes airborne and laps another kill. But what that ace has done for Germany is it means that every time China side out, they only reduce the, the uh, deficit to two rather than one. So Germany in a really good position here, and they just got to keep ticking that scoreboard over. Another fine feed from Hacker through the middle. Just watch the hold that she gets, and then Ping gets the hands on the ball and fires it at Weitzel. It's all down to some really solid passing from Germany. Pole serves. Anything you can do, we can do just as well. Yan Ni, their own bit of heat through the middle. But again, every time China do that, they're still facing a two-point deficit that they've got to try and make up from the service line. And that's the value of having the big opposite. When you're out of system, when the ball can only go to one hitter, you want a Lippmann on court that you can feed. Just get the rest of the job done. Ding Jia with a goalkeeper-style dive. Got hands on it. It was a good save. Just couldn't get it to any of her players. Nice pass from Wang. A little lucky. Yuan Xinyue this time. China's tallest player at two metres and one. Getting the feet and just clipping the net. That actually flat-footed hunker. China find these points before Germany get to 25. Germany just have to keep siding out. A 
Out of system. Hanka goes wide. Oh, brilliant. Giertis, the, the German team are not putting a foot wrong here. Even when China are really loading it up from the service line and the passes out of system. The response has been fabulous from the German hitters and that Zhang Xunlei is on. So, double substitution. If Ding Xia is out, that means Yao Di is in to set. And there we go, Yao Di with her hands on the ball, fires it wide to Lee. That one was dropping inside, German block didn't go with it. And if you don't go with the left-hander on that cross-court, they will punish you from the left side. Look at how much court is available here. Too easy for Li Yingying. Lee at the service line, but that's not a problem. Germany just need to keep siding out. Once again, they recycle the ball. Juting puts it away. Transition point for China and a valuable one. Reduces the deficit to one. So it would appear the change up initially working for China and Felix Kozlowski, the German coach, forced into a timeout. You can get a lot of information into 30 seconds. Felix Kozlowski trying to get as much as he could in there. Just a little concerned with the blocking positions of the German players, in particular their hands at the neck. Got to keep reaching into space, reaching over the neck. Li Ying Ying, another serve. China one down now. Germany need the side out. It's a good serve. Oh, well watched. Really well watched. Second ball offense is always an option for Hanke because she is such a good hitter. The Chinese block working once, but it's just a reuse for Germany. And then up she goes and whacks it off of Juting and wide. And uh, Liu Jiating now is on. That's replacing Li Ying Ying just to try and bring a bit of stability on the pass. And uh, Yuan meant that one. She's hit that hard. Such a great feeling as a middle player when you get up in the air and there's just nobody there. Just unloaded on that ball. This is a cracking start to this game and China responding, but Germany still have the lead and they can make it two with a side out here. Good pass. And there's the block that levels the score. Maybe it was just a matter of time, but Ju Ting next to Yan Ni is a pretty difficult obstacle to get past. And they just saw where this ball was going. And got hands right in to Lippmann's angle. And the block loops over the defenders. A little unlucky for Germany, but China earning their luck there. 21 all. Oh, and all of Germany's good work is being undone. Free ball, China to take the lead again. And they do. Zhang Xinlei, new opposite player on court for Gung, finishes the point. 22 21, excellent comeback from China under the most severe pressure. Felix Kozlowski forced to use his second timeout. It's been a superb opening set for Germany. But just looks like they're running out of steam here against the Olympic champions. Oh, 
It's tough for Germany. Their focus now has changed. It was all about siding the ball out, just keeping that scoreboard ticking over and getting ever closer to nicking the first set off China. Now it's all changed. They've got to side the ball out to start with, yes. Then they've got to find something on their own serve and their own block. Really important point here. Yuan Xinyue with the serve. Germany have to put this away. And they do. Terrific shot down the line from Jana Francisca Paul. Just waited, waited and turned it at the last second on that swing. Go past Junction Lays block. Number 18, Schwertmann in. And specifically on court to serve and play a bit of defence instead of Schlosel. It's a good serve. Pressure on China here. And is that over the net? Germany think it is. And go and make their feelings known to the first official, Ibrahim al nam who is going to have to look at this on the video. Ball has to break the plane of the net. And that's why the attackers are not allowed to reach over into the opponent's court space unless it is the third ball that's been played, and that was in the middle of the rally for Germany. And Felix Kozlowski's point to the referee is that one of his players could have played that ball. They were just in position to play it until China reached over and shoved it on the floor. We will see. But boy, do they need this to go their way. No, I don't think he's got a case there, unfortunately. That is definitely China's side. It's funny how it looks, especially to players who are coming in to play the ball. But quite clearly on that uh, video replay, that was China's point. And a good bit of work from Yan Ni. We're back to level scoring. If Germany sided out, it's 23 all, but China can take the lead. No, good blocking. And Lippmann is stopped. Juting once again next to Yanni. Watch the blocking composure here. Lovely balance. Juting shuts the line down and Yanni does the rest. And from nowhere, two set points for China. Zhang Chunlei with the serve. It's a good serve. It's an ace serve. And China put the first set away. Three points down for most of it. Germany playing some quite brilliant volleyball. But China hung in there. And the class of the world number two team in the end shining through. Some terrific blocking at the end. 25-22. China go one set to love on Germany.
China just getting stronger and stronger as that set went on and then two fantastic blocks on Lippmann was the difference really, but not much to tell on the statistics between the two teams. Germany will be delighted with that performance. As Coach Kozlowski will know, it's the ability to win at this level. It's the ability to put sets and matches away from those situations that count. And China just have more experience in those areas knew exactly what to do and when they needed to do it. Never really looked at all concerned at the fact that at one point, with 25 arriving very fast, they were three down to Germany. But no, kept fighting, kept trying to find a way. And then when the rotations really collided in the way China wanted them to, they made it count. More of the same, please. That was a very good set of volleyball. Excellent entertainment for you guys at home, but also the crowd here in Ningbo, who, of course, are 100% behind this Chinese team. But that was a very good first set from the European side. Germany have to keep up that consistent level of play. And this is where it will get difficult, because China will just keep going, just keep coming at them, they'll set the level really high it's up to germany not to deviate too much from that level and a fine pipe attack from ju ting <laughs> missed on the sideline Littman on her unfamiliar left side opposite position hits most of her rotations from the right side of the court. Save from Lippmann. And a nice swing from Li Ying. -Ying. Bring you up to date with the changes on court. Li Ying back in. But the setter, Yao Di, has been putting a lot of pressure on Ding Jia recently, starting this set. And I think uh, Zhang Chun Lei is out there as well. Instead of Gung. No, Gung is back in. So a reprieve for Gung Zhang Yu from Jenny Langping. Iron Hammer was her nickname when she was playing for the Chinese national squad, won gold in 1984 in Los Angeles, and then decided to go and study in Los Angeles, wanted a change of scene, she said, and the Chinese government allowed her to go. And now shares her time between the USA and China. Just like set one, Germany sneaking onto the scoreboard. Little touch off Jan Lee's hand there. Decent attack from Giertis. such a difference getting the ball from the service into your setter allows the setter to have all their options open three sometimes four attackers moving towards the net makes it very difficult for opposition blockers to get stable however when you're out of system like that the blockers can see where the ball is going so Gertis and Schlösel just lining Gung up. Ju Ting landed a little awkwardly on her wrist there. Had a discussion with Lan Ping. She says she's okay. 
Another good slow down block from Germany. What a set. Oh, and it's missed by Littman, who claims a touch. Referee agrees with Germany. It's up to China to challenge, and uh, if they did challenge, then uh, Yuan Xinyue would have been found to have just touch that ball with a fingernail. Good shot, Littman. Brilliant set, Hanke. Another good save from out of system. Nice, powerful hit from Li Ying Ying. She really does club the ball. So when it gets hit, it gets, stays hit. Super retrieve from Yao Di to get that into a hittable position. That's a one handed diving set. Not easy. Lippman meant that, but she's just over-rotated. Cut it too far away from her body. Second hitting error from Lippman in this set. I love Hanker's setting at the moment for Germany. The German captain's distribution has been uh, awesome. Another miss, and it was wide open as well. Gietis knows it. As she went to jump for that ball. She had a little look down the line to see that there was acres of space there, but just like Littman, hit the ball too wide. 7-5 China. Good pass. Great kill. Hanker has been desperate to keep this middle ticking over. Schlerzel, once again, the recipient of an excellent set for her to swing on. Reuse play. Lee goes off pace. Easy read for Lippmann. And Hanka with a cheeky over on two. German captain has really got her head in this game. Li Ying Ying and Wang Menji caught completely flat footed by that one. Catching that, I think, more with her wrist than the hand, and it flew. Gives China a marginal lead going into the first technical timeout, but it's still close this game. Smoke on the water. I think it has to be played at every match. Ringing out in the background as the assistant coaches get involved. Second assistant coach for China in your picture, Lei Ya Wen, silver medal in 1996 as a player. Very valuable addition to the coaching staff. Has been manager for a couple of years, but Lang Ping has invited her into the coaching circle, as it were. And it was Giertis and Paul that were getting a bit of a talking to from the assistant coach for Germany. They have not done a lot wrong, though, those two. They've had a good game so far. Littman, that's what she was trying to do first time around. Boy, did she mean that one. Good set from Anka, another great option down that line. Eight all, full marks to Germany, still not going away in this match, still testing China. Paul just 
just trying to turn it back into the block. It's, it's quite difficult to time that shot with any sort of power. Specifically going for the hands rather than trying to hit hard cross court. And overturns it and out it goes. Shooting. Both Schlüssel and Weitzel through the middle for Germany have been really solid. Great setting from Hanka to keep opening those opportunities. But at the moment, China not making their blocks in the central part of the net. Oh, lovely pass from Li Ying Ying to get the whole thing going. And then Yao Di just feeds Ju Ting. And the rest, as they say, especially where Ju Ting is concerned, is usually history. Specifically, Paul trying to get a reuse out of that one by going into the block and hoping her German defenders would be able to just pick that up easily. Nobody really moved to the ball there. Bit of a freebie for China. Shot. China's chance came because Lippmann knew that Ju Ting was on the line and didn't want to take her on. So tried to go cross court, hit the middle blocker, slowed it down enough for China to get a reuse and put it away nicely. Kozlowski calling a timeout for Germany. Tricky to hear what the coach is saying with that kind of noise going on in the background. Chinese fans fully engaged here in Ningbo. And watching their team power through the back end of set one and open up a handy lead in set two. But Germany still playing good volleyball. Nice fast ball out wide to Paul. Takes a lot of balance to be able to kill a ball like that on the wing. It's really traveling by the time it gets to you. Super handling. That's a really good set. And there is the setter right on cue. Anchor with the serve. Ju Ting once again finds clean court. The number of times Duke Ting just bounces it off the floor without blocker or defender involved is stunning. What a player. The touch. Wang with the pick up. And Lee, stumbling sideways, just gets a bit of control on the ball to go off the German block. And makes a point out of nothing. But that's a terrific dig from Wang Menchi. Not so clever from the German blockers, though. <laughs> Pick that one up. Zero tempo from Weitzel. Just arriving right over the top of the setter, thumping it onto the floor. Swing both setters using 
the full spectrum of their attacking opportunities. It's just keeping the blockers guessing. Giatis knows where it's, where it's going, but Vitzel way too late. And the RD rather pleased with herself after that set. So she should be. Yanni won't be too pleased with that, though. Turned by Weitzel, so she vacates the court for the Libero Pagani. Just as the second technical timeout arrives, and China in a much better position this time around. different coaching environment for the Chinese team down there. Wang Ping very often just lets the assistant coaches speak. Lei Ya Wen and An Jiaji. And then very often will just let the players talk amongst themselves. Gone are the days when the players just used to line up and wait for the coach to talk or shout at them. Thing, just checking who the next server is for China. That's a good bit of captaincy. You can sometimes lose your place even at this level in the rotation. And it is Gung. 16 12 China. Another good line shot. See how much more confident Lipman is hitting against Li Ying Ying as opposed to Ju Ting. Here is Li Ying Ying, and she too makes the shot down the line. Had Hanka to beat the smallest of the German blockers. Did so relatively easily. And after a slightly shaky start, Li Ying Ying has played pretty well in this set so far. So, some changes. Anchor out, Lippmann out. In comes Drovniok and in comes Pia Kastner. So, a change up in the opposite position and setting position. Germany flipping their rotation. Good dig. That's a good bit of work from Gertes. Time that tip to perfection after a brilliant pickup from Paul. Just over the fingers, didn't it? And that tiny little tickle on the ball just took it away from Gung. Whoa. <laughs> Generally speaking, the Chinese middle players do not hit the ball as hard as other middles around the world. They are much more to do with speed and finding little zones in the front court that they can attack, sometimes even coming off one leg to do so. And then almost tapping it on the floor, but I'll tell you what, Yuan and Yan have been thumping it today. Lovely pass. Germany might get away with this, they do. Really good pass from Pagani, then a, a misconnection to Schlözel in the middle. 
Josh Fertman will come in. So Fertman considered just that little bit more mobile than Schlüssel. So she'll serve and go to position five to play defence. Good reuse from Juting. Yeah, she had to hit that one, but still no angle to work, really. And Germany continue to apply themselves. That's a terrific bit of work from China. Oh, full marks to Germany again. And Drevniak with two fantastic hits in that rally. And one decent block on Ju Ting. And Lang Peng forced into a timeout. That's a huge block, isn't it? Ju Ting able to get head and shoulders above this 2 metre 24 net. about the defence of their Olympic title, rested all her star players for the VNL finals, which were in Nanjing, but has brought them back for this qualifier. Wants to go through straight away in the intercontinental rounds. Now, net touch. Ju Ting says there's a net touch, so she wants her coach to challenge this. And the point being, it doesn't matter where the ball has gone in the arena. If it is still technically live and it hasn't hit anything or hit the floor or hit the crowd, and somebody on the op opposition side steps over the line or touches the net, then it is still a fault. The point is still live. So even that ball was on, was, uh, though that ball was on its way to the front row of the crowd, Ting feels that the German blocker just collapsed into the net. Therefore, it's their point. They need it as well, because Germany just showing a few signs of recovery here. First time we've seen Lang Peng look worried in this set. National holiday when she married her first husband, former professional handball player. The wedding was televised, that's the kind of star that we're talking about in terms of Lang Peng. take a bit of looking at because you've got to find the camera angle that shows that the ball is still live while the net has been touched and the ball was a long way away from where the net was being touched so you've got to find a, an interesting angle here I wonder who they're all supporting in the background <laughs> she is she is the current queen of Chinese volleyball no doubt about it you think here we go it's gonna to have to be a split angle so the ball's still live as the net is touched that's a good spot from the captain. It is a fault against Germany, it's point China. And that is why Ju Ting is the Chinese skipper. Now, again, just checking who the server is. Checking that everybody's in the right place on court. That's a brilliant piece of work. Very good management from the superstar in this Chinese team. Oh, volleys it into play. Ju Ting makes the defensive touch and Gung is roofed. Paul next to Weissel. Germany refusing to give up in this set. This is really encouraging from a German point of view. Some of the best volleyball we've seen from them this season. Substitution reverse, so Louisa Lippmann back into front court, but they're going to play this next rally without a setter. And somebody's going to need to set. It's going to be Weitzel, sets to Lippmann. And Lippmann misses the court, but thinks she's got the blocker. 
And the referee agrees. Germany close it to one point. What a comeback. And there you go. Just catches the pinky finger on the left hand of Juting. Drevniok to serve again. Hanka on the bench, waiting to come on for Drevniok in the backcourt to flip that double substitution back. Good pass. Juting gets the job done. Not a cleanest hit, but a decent angle. Two-point lead restored. Talk about pressure on your serve. But she responds very well indeed. Hanker's back court. Referee's going to spot that in a minute if he thinks she formed a block. No need to worry, though. Or do they? Wonderful again from Germany. And free ball is finally put away from a collapsing Juting, who is now going to make the point that that was a back court setter making a block. So next time, blow your whistle, please, ref. Stop, isn't it? Do you think China back in charge 21 18? Germany got left, anything left in the tank. Juting again at the service line, so not the strongest rotation for China for the next three rotations in terms of blockers. And Lippmann knows it. Goes full tilt at that one, referee, second official blowing his whistle because of a Chinese net touch. So a slightly nervous look from Lippmann after this, but it was Lee that just put a forearm on the Top of the net tape. Pole will serve. There's a chance still here for Germany. Oh, and an ace makes it a very realistic chance. Pole getting the big dipper out and dropping that like a stone in front of Wang Menji. And Ju Ting, just a little bit of confusion between the two about who might go for that. Germany once again closed the gap to just a single point. Juting charged with the responsibility of getting her team out of trouble. And that was a bizarre position to find herself in for the hit. She won't hit many from there, but she still kills it. Just kind of knew it was coming her way, so got ready to go. And pulled the trigger. You only need to serve. Overpass. Killed emphatically by Yuan Xinyue. Well, every middle player will tell you these are the balls you want to hit. The overpass has already got a bit of energy in it. You've just got to get your arm through and it'll look spectacular, which indeed it did. 23-20, China back in control. A good forceful hit from Gettys. doing everything they can to keep themselves in the frame. Comes back on for Schwertman. Actually hadn't made that substitution after the last serve, so that was well spotted by the German coach. Weitzel to serve. It's an ace, another ace for Germany to close the gap to one again. And just so there's no momentum shift, Lang Ping has to call a timeout. Now watch this one dip over the head and down onto the line. And Wang Minji will 
will be gutted that she let that one go. Considering that Germany, the world number 15 team, are up against the world number twos. I have to say, I think this is the best game of volleyball they've played so far this season. Still in with a chance of stealing a set here and putting pressure on the Olympic champions. So both China's timeouts have gone. Better pass from Wang Menji. Oh, it's in play. But it's a free ball, China. Brilliant set. That is an absolutely fantastic decision from Jardy because the whole of the German team had loaded up on Juting and the ball didn't go there. Instead, it went right out to the wire. And Gung hits it off the post and home. Going out, Zhong Chunlei in for her serve and her defence, but also her pass. She may pass in this next rotation. Two match points, two set points even. And an ace does it. Super sub. Zhang Chunlei comes on and does the damage. And for the second set in a row, at the business end, when it really mattered, Germany just didn't quite have enough. 25-22, 25-22. China lead by two sets to love in an enthralling game. Some fabulous pictures, makes it feel a bit like the Ju Ting show, but let's not take away from any of the other players involved in this game. On the German side of the net, Hank has been setting brilliantly, Lippmann's been solid. The two middle players, Weitzel and Schlussel, have had a good game, and Paul and uh, Gutiz have been really good through the left side. For China, Ju Ting is the player that makes it all tick, no doubt about it. But uh, Li Ying Ying has come into it. Yan Li and Yuan Xinyue have been awesome as usual through the middle. And Yan Di is coming to do a fine job in that playmaker role, placing the normal starting setter, Ding Jia. And let's not forget Gu in the opposite position. Excellent kill down the line just to take China right up 
to the winning posts in terms of set two. But they've still got to win another set, China, to get this one across the line. And this has been a terrific battle. Spoke to a lot of uh, Chinese sports fans over the last few years. who have been telling me that they can sometimes get a little bored with the fact China always win table tennis matches. They always win the major championships there. They'd like to see a bit more of a competition. Well, they're going to be enjoying this one. China being given a real test by Germany here in this volleyball Olympic qualifier. And Gung starts set three with another fine shot. Set from Hanker, great kill from Lippmann, but the credit really goes to Gutis. She had to deal with the middle player running in front of her to get to her attacking zone and still made a pass like that. That's just quality. That arrived in Hanker's hands like a pillow full of feathers. I won't say what that pillow was full of from the service line. Two love China in terms of sets. Two one up to start set three. They were favourites to take this match three love, but they will not have been expecting this. Gung with the serve out. Remember, it was uh, Zhang Chunlei that came on to serve for her at the end of the last set. Serve that magnificent ace. game that hasn't worked today as service has been poor well, Germany's middle continues to be a constant stream of points Connection with Schlüssel and Weitzel has been really impressive. Good serve. Gertiz nearly aces Duting. It's coming back, but it's coming back out. Excellent serve on the Chinese captain down the line. going out I think so China have to go again Germany could win the point now good coverage by Wang Menji and a really good swing from Gung another excellent set another really nice swing on that one the line was open he was trying to get it there but ended up colliding with poles Locking arm anyway, and out of play. Good line shot from Paul. And for the third set in a row, Germany putting up a really good challenge here. She just doesn't miss. It's astonishing play from Juting again. And she's hit it into a place in the court where it's virtually impossible to defend. Over the block. Not a lot of topspin on it. Deep 
up into the corner. And it touched the block for good measure, so even if it had gone long, it was still going to be China's point. And they've gone off the boil from the service line, China. They've stopped putting pressure on the German service reception. Feels like Germany could take a set in this game, and wouldn't that be a feather in their cap? Another ace. Hunker again. And Germany open up a two-point lead, so... They seem to enjoy playing from this end. She's not trying to hit that hard. A bit like Barbara Fontana on the beach years ago for the USA. Used to just hit line after line after line with these wonderful looping jump topspin serves. Oh, ho, 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 there you go. Two in a row. And Germany are flying in set three. That is a brilliant service. of aces comes along once in a blue moon can hunker do it oh nearly Germany can still win the point Paul gets a reuse out of it Pogani goes wide to Lippmann Oh, good reach. And again from Gung. And finally. Hanka realising that Gung had been stranded out on the left side, so just kept feeding Littman. He was always going to go right over the top of Gung. Took him a few goes, but they got there. And this service run continues. A four-point lead now for Germany. Stunning. It's down to their captain and these very tricky jump serves. Brilliant again. Off pace from Gung. Germany can go five ahead. Juting. Right side for her and she's not putting the ball away on that side of court. But the Chinese block gets the job done, and that was a vital point. They did not want to go five behind. Three they can cope with. Five would have been a big ask. Power tip from Lippmann. Again, really nice late set. That was a little bit close to being a throw. She's just lucky to get away with that. Ju Ting's not happy. Reasonable pass from the Chinese captain. Li Ying Ying can't put it away, and Germany playing some great volleyball here. Getis with a tremendous kill. And China, again, in all sorts of bother here. And Lung Ping forced uh, to call a timeout. This was not expected. And 
China in trouble in set three. And a knockout punch. And going about it in the right way. This is wonderful from the team in red. Finally, China get another point on the board, but not without some serious damage being done. Ju Ting with the set. Li Ying Ying with the kill. Yanni with the serve. Well, Lippmann demanding that ball. Didn't put the first one away, but just screamed at Pagani to bump set it to her again so she could have another go. And this time just melts it through the block. Very lucky she didn't touch the net there. Too long from Weitzel. Why not keep going for those serves, though? I think that's uh, not a bad policy from Germany. Just keep hitting them hard, and maybe you'll pick up another couple of aces here and there. And as long as your side-out game is intact, keep turning that scoreboard over, nothing is lost. Good pass. Excellent pick-up from Wang Wenji. And that's not so good on the setting front. A little bit too tight to the net for Li Ying Ying. Gong it was. Just bumped it in too close. a huge hit from Li Ying Ying. Oh, Pagani did very well to get hands on it, but just could not control that. Good pick up. Juting. Off the fingers and out. Chinese point, they're battling hard. China into double figures, lead reduced to three. Just catching Schlerzel's hand. But it's all down to that pickup from Wang Menji off the miss hit of Schlerzel. Pass, Lippmann runs with freedom from the back line, knowing that she only had one blocker to beat. Beaten her very well. <laughs> Yu Tong comes in. All about pass and defence from Liu. What a serve. Welcome to the court. Have this one up your grill. <laughs> That's a horrible serve to pass. It just kept rising. Tease continues to impress. Another cracker, well passed though. Off the wing comes Ju Ting. And once again, the Chinese block gets them out of trouble but they're still not completely out of trouble here still trailing by three in fact 
four. My apologies. Well, this is incredible. Germany had a real chance to win the first set. Couldn't quite manage it. But this is guilt-edged. It really is a five-point lead as we hit the technical timeout. Felix Kozlowski guide his team to a set victory here. Germany giving China all sorts of problems. Two, two legends confer on the situation. Lung Ping and Gan Li Wen. part of the Chinese game today. Germany have served well enough to keep China's pass away from the net and it needs to be close to the net for Yan Ni and Yuan Xinyue to really run effective plays off Yadi's setting. Good serve. Oh, that's an absolute belter. And that's beaten the German libero. All ends up of China, but still got to find three points from somewhere. Dropping beautifully to the line. Overpass. Finish. No, good defence from Germany. Lippmann. Oh, on the floor. Straight down. And that's the problem. You try and avoid Yu Ting and you hit straight into Yan Ni. Good press. Right on time. Kozlovsky has to call a timeout. China sneaking back in again as we head into the business end of the set. Side from Anka. Keep this Chinese block as fractured as possible. Yardi then to serve. Two point advantage still for Germany, but China getting some kind of foothold in this set now from five points down. Oh, free net. What a piece of play from China. It's going to be a free ball to Germany, though. Now and again, free net. Unreal. Well, Ju Ting took a huge guess there that that was going middle. Stepped in to help out, and Hanka saw it and just fed Lippmann again. Two free nets in a row. Germany 17 14. Back to the Hanka serve. Net helps China on that occasion. Ju Ting still can't put it away. This has been a tricky rotation for them. Now, another challenge. It's gone China's way, but Germany will ask the question again. 
they are convinced once more that this was in German airspace and cannot be played by China. Well, it's the hanker serve and it's this rotation for China where Gong and Jiuting are on the wrong side of court. Normally hit from the other sides and it just doesn't work for them. Now, here we go. Oh, I think they've lost it again. That's broken the plane of the net. Virtually identical to the first one. Now, the German coach is trying to say that based on what he's seen on the big screen, it's their point. But it's the referee's decision, and the referee's decision is final. China get another point on the board just. Well, Lippmann, something's happened, whether she took a hit to the eye or has got something in her eye, but it's definitely causing a problem for her. And if you wear contact lenses, you'll know what that can be like. And that's not really that easy for her to play on here. And they need her right now. Comes steaming round the court, but it's not required. Paul takes the quick set out wide. Germany keep the pressure on. Well, they missed the chance once in set one from this position, Germany. Almost identical position on the scoreboard. They are determined not to miss out a second time. Good swing, good defence from Germany. Hanker inside to Lippmann, and Lippmann puts it away. Germany on the march again. Whacks it off of Jan Lee's block. Good swing. This time Gun gets it away. Using the German block very well down the line, but three points still to find here for China. Germany's still in a really good place. Pass from Gettys. Jiting digs Lippmann. Hardy goes wide to Jatu. And she hits off the block and into the floor. Germany doing a great job here. Just clip the outside of the line. Points in it. Li Ying Ying back in. What a superb hit. And that ball's tight to the net. Yan Zinue and Yan Ni are very difficult to stop. Watch him run this play. Quick over the top of the setter, right between the blockers. Brought into the mix, asked once again to be the heroine. And she goes in the front line. Back in comes the starting setter, Ding Jia. And it is Ding with the serve. Nice pass. It's tight. It's over, but Germany can attack again. Oh, it's not convincing from Lippmann. Oh, from Zhang Chun-Lei. Wonderful blocking from Germany. <laughs> Still blinking away furiously, Lippmann. It's time for the celebration, joining the three-woman block and making the shutdown on Zhang. We are surely heading to a fourth set. Good serve. A fizzing ace from Lippmann. And the part of a game that's been below par today lands right on time. The one-eyed Lippmann wanders back to the timeout as Lang Ping stops the game for another chat with her players. But this is looking pretty desperate for China here.
beautiful marks to Germany. This has been another exceptional performance from them in set three. They have refused to give up in this match. Five point advantage, three points away from making the score 2 1 to China. This time long. Now, this is where you've got to get the job done. This is where you have to understand game management. This is where China is so good. And Germany have to kill the ball three times, and the set is theirs. They've got to do that before China serve their way back in. Brilliant pass. Gatis goes long. A little bit wild on that hit, and this is what I mean about game management. You've got to make that play. You've got to get it in court. Now, Pierre Kastner in the setting position comes on to replace Littmann. And then similarly, flipping that rotation around. On comes uh, Derevyok. Kimberly Derevyok coming in for the setter hanker. So, new setter, new opposite on court. Same old pressure. Good serve. Overpass. Dispatched easily by Duting. And just when Germany need to be at their most solid. Once again, the points start leaking away. Really good serve. And a very good kill. And another cracker off the net. Gatis with the hit. It's still alive. China, though, are going to have to try and block this ball. Surely Dreviok will get it. No, goes back line. Great dig from Wang Menji. Juting. Tips but dug by Pagani. And now Dreviok gets the hit. And she goes off the block. And out of court. Chinese blockers have to admit to the touch. There we go. Yuan Xinyue says it just clipped me on the forearm. You can use the challenge if you want, but I touched it. Full marks, Germany. Dramatic rally. Great pickup, great read from Pagani, and no challenge forthcoming from China. Three point margin restored, and an ace off the captain. And Gatis is having a brilliant set. Four set points to Germany to take this one down to the fourth. This was not on the script for China. Pass from the middle player is not good. Tu Ting saves the day again. Well, this is a wonderful game of volleyball. It really is, and that was Dreviok's chance to shut down the Chinese captain. Just got the timing wrong. Germany then. Just need one more point. Dreviok off the block and back into play. She goes again, one on one, and makes no mistake. And this German team have turned this match on its head. They could have taken set one, they went close, but not close enough. They were in it in set two, but in set three, they've learned how to get it across the line. Lovely set from Karstner, lovely choice of set as well to go back to Dreviok a second time. That completely fooled Jan Ni. And this German team have been in business all day, but they really are in business now. 25-21, China still lead, but Germany are back in the mix.
What a terrific game of volleyball. China here in Ningbo, two sets to one up on Germany. But the point is, Germany have got one set on the scoreboard. Threatened in two of the sets, couldn't quite get it over the line in set one, but that was a very well-managed situation at the back of set three. Lisa Lippmann still trying to sort that eye out. She's got knocked in the eye in the middle of one of the rallies and uh, it's caused her a problem since. I think she's okay, just watering. So decisions, decisions, no uh, problem at all from the German coach's point of view. Just put the same group of players out on the floor that have been doing such a good job. From China's point of view though, Germany clearly happy playing against the lineup that Lang Ping has put out there. So she's going to have to be brave here and decide what she wants to do. And at the moment, deciding that she's going to go with the players who've started the last couple of sets. So, same lineup for Germany. Feitzel and Schlössel through the middle. Hanker setting, Lippmann opposite, Paul and the very impressive Gatiss through the wing. Right on cue, Gatiz shanks a pass. And for China, Yaldi keeps her playmaking position on court. That might be in danger if Germany keep playing like this. Great kill from Paul. Ju Ting out wide with Li Yingying in the opposite position, Gung. And then Yan Li. And Yuan Xinyue through the middle. But China don't look comfortable out there at the moment. A little bit of variation. Side tandem shot, so just bringing Ju Ting off the wing. Watcher looks like she's wide and then steps inside. Great directional step to get her feet to the ball. Good touch, Duting sets Gung, Gung leathers it down the line. She hit that very hard. need a good start in this set. They don't want to give Germany too much encouragement. Good set, good swing. That's not an attack they've used with Li Ying Ying being the player to put the ball away. They've attempted to set that pipe to Ju Ting. Good swing between the block from Li to beat Paul. Strange one. Good dig. Once again, Lee goes. Three blockers knew where it was going. Couldn't stop her, though. The perfect start for China. Batiste just not able to penetrate the net far enough. And Yuan continues to serve. skill sets by players at this level that was a wonderful reverse set from Yan Ni just saying to Ju Ting was that good enough for you? Ju Ting off pace off the block and down to the floor timeout coming surely from Germany soon if not changes of personnel something's got to happen down there for the European side Bump set this time. Gatisse gets it off the fingers. Points at the coach to say challenge. Whatever you do, challenge, but no requirement needed. Referee spotted it just off the fingernail. Galdi.
Both teams settling into a beautiful rhythm right now. What a stop from Sch Schlüssel. And a bit of a hand on that as well from Gatiss. So third time not lucky for Li Ying Ying. Germany serving like demons at the moment. And Yu Ting has missed one. Whatever. Germany all the way back into it. Just over spinning that one. Manufactured volleyball by China. They're having to do anything to get this ball on the floor. And that was a funny little inside attack that all it did was open up space for Juting to roll the ball home. No way through. Yan Ni was just waiting for Gietis then. And as good as she's been today, you can't get past a monster block like that. Good work. Nice feed from Hanker to Lippmann. Off another very good pass. And Germany will just be trying to do what they've done in the other sets, not go away. Just hang around. Keep causing China a problem. Well, we saw Azerbaijan take Brazil to five. The other day, can Germany do it to China? Lippmann finds another ace. They're serving now turned a corner watch that ball but mate that ball has moved up nearly a meter in the air and then when you factor that movement in side to side and then factor the downwards trajectory as well that's a horrible ball to pass tight Germany just salvage it trying to go again good shooting knew she had just the one blocker to beat. Did it very well. So the technical timeout arrives and uh, both teams still in this. Team very keen, very eager to get back on court. Just been told to slow down by the officials. Used to be allowed to have your timeouts on court back in the day, but then everyone realised they were spilling their drinks all over the floor. It's all over the floor as well, but hopefully not an injury for Gung. She's okay. Monster block. Beautifully done. And another one. This time it's Yandy shutting Lippmann down on the cross court. And all of a sudden. What looked like a tremendous German performance is starting to lose its fizz.
Proper celebration there from Li Ying Ying. Nevniok back in, as is uh, Pia Kasner. So once again, the rotation flipped. Double substitution. Kastner goes middle, but well picked up. Germany still in the rally. Great dig from Wang Menji. <laughs> this crowd loving every point. <laughs> oh, what a play. And Germany still can win it. And again, here we go. Still nobody can get a hand on this ball. Drevniok blazes it wide. Well, the Chinese fans celebrating, but I thought I saw Li Ying Ying signify she touched that. So the challenge from Germany will possibly be a successful one. Drevniok gave that absolutely everything. You can see the players are gassed. They are really breathing hard after that long rally. Nobody could quite get control of the ball. Here we go. And uh, did that just catch the finger of the Yin Ying? It did. If the challenge is successful, they keep it. They may need it later. Boy, did they need that point. Definitely missed that one. Another miss. It's time from Scherzl, who has barely put a foot wrong in this game. scherzel has been absolutely brilliant, but just didn't quite get the ball where she wanted from the new set of Kastner. Germany. Coach Kozlowski forced to call a timeout. Chinese crowd getting right behind their team. Germany now under pressure. Kastner moves into position, sets on the reverse to Drevniak, who unloads on that one down the line. Big hit. criticise Germany when they do miss serves because they put so much pressure on the Chinese pass today. But when those serves do go wide, it, it's just a product of how hard they're pushing from the service line. But that's been a major factor in why they've competed today. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Very tight to the net for Karstner, but she's flown that out to pole. Wonderfully flighted set for her troubles <laughs> is removed from court. The substitution is flipped as Lipman gets back to the front line. Different 
server, different angle and a different hand to hit the ball, completely catching Chu Ting and Li Ying Ying out of position. Easiest ace serve Drevniok will ever serve. Another good one. Li Ying Ying batters it off the hands. Straight back. The time they can keep this lead at three. Germany will feel that just one good run of serves, one good run of blocks, they can get themselves back in it. Really nice slide attack. So much of the middle attack for China has come in front of the setter. On this occasion, Yuan running around the back for that slide that he thumps it on the floor. Can't follow it up with a decent serve, though. It's possible for an opponent to get stuck on the, the point before the timeout. China need to kill this ball straight away. They do. And they lead once again by a comfortable margin. Second technical timeout arrives. China leads 16-12. Some serious pressure today of China, and that timeout zone never seems to change. It always seems positive. Good open flow of information between players and coaches. German timeout zone very similar as well, but they should be feeling positive. They played brilliantly today. But it looks like set four is just one set too far at the moment. China will be looking to put their opponents away now in the business end of this set. A good touch from Yao Di. One when Ji sets on the reverse to Ju Ting, she can't kill it. Another good dig from the setter. Great open rally and a brilliant finish. Well, you've got to hand it to Germany. They have lived with China in these long rallies. of aces will be good enough to get Germany back in. Overpass. Hanka though, easily read by Ju Ting. That's very lively thinking from the Chinese captain. That should have been Germany's point. Look at Ju Ting arrive, jump and roof. Uh, opposite captain. Trouble here, free ball. Brilliant. Again, the block just waiting for that to go wide, but Yan Ni runs a fantastic pattern. You just never know where Yan Ni and Yuan are going to arrive. 
and they never arrive in front of you. They always run to space. And then just a skip in the air, a swing of the arm, and it's all over. Time out, Germany, five-point lead, China. Desperate for this point. Lippmann. Plays it again. Gittes goes line and out. And I think that is probably it for this uh, very spirited German performance today. Can't see them recovering now from this one. Sale changes. In comes Nelly Barber with the headband on. And joining her on court, number 22, Lisa Grundig. So one middle, one wing spiker on. Schlossel out. Maybe just getting a little tired. It's been brutal for the middle blockers today. So many repetition rallies. Oh, <laughs> what a stop. Li Ying Ying getting up a really balanced, structured block on Lippmann. That's how you stop her. Jump straight, reach over. Barber, well dug by Wang Wenji. Oh, a nice dig from Pagani, the libero for Germany. Barber, though, lively. That is not bad, you know. She's been on the bench for three and a half sets. Gets called in by the coach, gets two hits straight away and nails both of them. serve two hours we've been playing two hours of uh, really tremendous volleyball in this f5 big b intercontinental olympic qualification for tokyo 2020 if china win then it will be china turkey for the ticket tomorrow ping and uh, her assistant coach lei yawen just considering the situation but the job's nearly done Lippmann with a wayward hit, a rather tired looking hit for Louisa Lippmann. One more change for Germany. Or one more timeout anyway. And Coach Kozlowski just can't be disappointed with his players. They've done such a fine job. So there is a challenge for that Lippmann hit. I think it was anywhere near anything, and it wasn't. So my apologies, not a timeout, but a challenge. Space there for Lippmann to aim at. Keeps Germany in it. China three away now from the win. But Germany's still fighting. Player on court, Lisa Grundig. 1 meter 86 tall middle blocker from the Potsdam Club. 
Takes the swing to beat Barber. Trying to move one step closer to the victory. It's a shame the game has got to come to an end because it's been such a joy to watch this one. Germany have certainly played their part. Contributed some tremendous volleyball, but in the end, the reigning Olympic champions are going to be just too strong. Looking to qualify for their 10th Olympic Games, looking for their fourth Olympic title. This is just another step along the way. And they've got a whole handful of match points. And it's an ace that does it again. This time it's gone. And China put the game away in the most convincing fashion in set four, 25-15. And after three amazing sets, Germany just couldn't find any more in the tank to compete in the fourth and what turned out to be final set. Well, once again, a great advert for women's volleyball here in Ningbo. The fans playing their part creating a tremendous atmosphere for these two teams to play in and for Germany one of their best performances of the season they may have lost by three sets to one but they will leave the court with their heads held high because that was a terrific effort in the end and they made China play right on the edge of the envelope but when it really mattered China just had that little bit more there we go, the customary thank you to the crowd, which the crowd, of course, absolutely love. And they've seen their superstars through another game. And Germany as well, applauding the crowd and taking their plaudits in return. And so they should. Terrific game from the European side. 25-22, 25-22, a 2-0 lead for China. We thought it was all going to be over in three. Then 25-21, Germany hit back in the, in the third forcing it down to a fourth set but China just too good 25 15 in the end to finish this match with a 3-1 victory China then two from two and they'll go to the top of Paul B Thanks for your company today. A couple of really good volleyball matches. The second in particular, Germany against China, was uh, one to live long in the memory. But in the end, China just too strong. And the reigning Olympic champions make it two wins from two, as did Turkey earlier with their 3-1 victory over a spirited performance from the Czech Republic team. So Czech Republic versus Germany to avoid the wooden spoon here in Ningbo tomorrow. But the big game is going to be the game for the ticket to Tokyo 2020 when China take on Turkey. 
So plenty of good volleyball still to look forward to, not just from here, but across the world in all the different intercontinental tournaments. Been a wonderful extension to this season as the teams bid for those six tickets to the Olympic Games straight up in the intercontinental round without having to go through the regional process. And the defending champions in 2020, the reigning champions, well on their way. But that's going to be a big game on Sunday. Super Sunday, China v Turkey for the ticket. Germany versus the Czech Republic to see if one of those teams can come away with the victory from Ningbo. So that's it from Ningbo. We're close to another very good day's volleyball courtesy of the FIVB. China, victorious and Turkey.